I like how on the wiki of the movie on the plot it just says electronic bracelets track all citizens and doesn't explain why. Very fitting for this movie. I have a bad feeling about this. I am a firm believer that human is real. So quick recap, this fucking shit is about a world where you can only have one child and these seven siblings are trying to survive. You'd eat anything. Pig. Dick. <laughs> On a stick. You'd buy it and you'd eat it. <laughs> That already sounds pretty dumb, but wait, it gets even dumber. <coughs> Let me explain how the whole movie kicks off. So there's this overpopulation problem in the world, right? So in order to fix that problem, they create food that grows in abundance by adding some special enhancements. I guess there's also like this drought that's happening that's affecting the food, but bottom line is too many people, not enough food. But guess what, now there's a side effect where women are giving birth at a crazy amount and so now we're back to square one because there's an overpopulation problem again. So now, I put the I put here in my notes that the government starts taking extra kits, but it's not even the government, apparently it's just like this fucking lady. Political activist and renowned conservation biologist Dr. Nicolette Cayman has prompted the Federation to institute a one child per family policy. They call her an activist, like she's like just someone that thought, hey, you know what's what would be a good idea? It's to, uh, well, spoil alert, they kill children, but you know, she sells it as like they're praising them but like who the fuck gave her the the, the the okay to do this like anyway it's not the government it's this fucking organization run by this activist lady that says that the extra kids will be like wrapped up like leftovers because you know they'll save them for later anyway Willem Dafoe keeps his seven girls so okay so talking about the fucking kids uh so there's seven children so like a fucking joke they're each called by the day of the week so one's called Monday one's called Tuesday and so on have you thought about names well, there are seven. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday. It's so ridiculous calling them all days of the week. This shit belongs in like a skit, not a sci-fi movie. So the whole, I guess the whole premise of the real movie is that one of the, the sibling called Monday goes missing and then everybody else tries to find them and then they get like killed one by one. I love you. It's and but it turns out that Monday was the one that she didn't like disappear. She was actually helping the government it's some or some stupid shit like that. So the whole movie is a sister is trying to figure it out. I think she did it for their work benefits, like health insurance or some shit. Like she just wanted to live a little better, so she sucked corporate's dick. I can see it working, but uh, it just does. It's so fucking horrible. It's so cliche. It, it grabs your hand through the whole movie, it doesn't let you think about it, it just tells you what to think. Like, you don't need to explain everything to us. It thinks the audience is so stupid. We did everything we could. How do you plan on hiding this? How will you cope? Well, then it turns out you're a frigid bitch. Just because I found you repulsive. Mm -hmm. Really? Pop brownie? I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. I'm so sorry. No. For Sunday. Why would Karen Setman illegally transfer millions of euros into Nicola Cayman's campaign fund? I have a bad feeling about this. It's such a waste of fucking time and energy and resources. I fucking hate this movie. Uh, so yeah, Monday gets kidnapped and then the government starts to kill them one by one. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that they even get killed in order... <laughs> I think the movie was just trying to be like Children of Men or something, but it just came out really pretentious and so fucking bad. Um, there's useless technology throughout, like they have um, holograms or some shit, but they, they don't have any real use. You can just substitute them with like touch screens and it would have had the same effect. There's a bunch of movie cliches, holy shit. If you've seen any movie, you've seen this movie. I have a bad feeling. The only thing I really liked was Willem Dafoe, because I just like Willem Dafoe, but you know, he was probably there on set for one day and recorded all the shit and he said peace. It's very hard for me to give compliments to this movie. I didn't even like the action. The action was so fucking boring, predictable. Uh, I think shaky cam. It's been, I've been wanting to talk about this movie for so long, like since it came out, like I remember watching it like in 2017, uh, the weekend it came out on Netflix and I just thought it was just so fucking horrible. And I just 
never really had a chance to express that but yeah it's just been on my mind for so long every time i think about it i'm just like yeah that's a that's a piece of shit yeah it just fucking feels like hunger games but worse you know just it's a wannabe sci-fi movie where it just fails at every turn so in short it's convoluted as fuck it's predictable it's pretentious and it's boring there are other dystopian movies that are better than this one there's better shit out there you know you don't have to settle for just this I just don't want people to settle for mediocre when there's actual movies out there that have the same themes or whatever but do it justice not like this one that's just again horrible so yeah that was my whtm review or as i like to call it the we hate this movie because it's a piece of shit